Hai hai. I didn't know that um we we met earlier today at six. Huh? We met at six today. Oh okay. No, I mean I didn't, didn't know there was like a little seating spot right here. No, you thank you. Can I have a yeah, total. Would you like a donut? Yeah, we just have an asterisk that we are kicking <laughs> the fan. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, I was going to say there with you. Anybody else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to make a transportation policy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. 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 it's the rate. And it's the possibility of a bus because I don't really think it's fair that we're paying for a car with three people. We're paying fifty dollars yeah. when we could have gotten a small bus or something for about but, the same amount of money, so everyone could have. But part of our movement is this meeting. It is three cars, and we should get a bus. Yeah. Where are we going? And we should paint it. Because I would have died. Where, where are we going? Oh, we're talking about the Regency action. Um, oh, okay. Um, reimbursing people who are parking into the event. All right. I'm here at the resources meeting. I have live streams. So. Up to $50. They don't spend $50. Just a warning. She's live streaming. I'm live streaming just to, like, <laughs> oh, no. if you want me to, like, turn off the volume at any time, or I will. They can't see you at all. <laughs> well, there's no. Uh, it's my understanding. For the audio, no, sorry. Nothing else on the agenda. Really? Um, yeah, I have one quick thing. My, my bus transportation. I take the bus everywhere. I don't have a job. My job is being our webmaster, being on social media. I work 16 hours a day. Now I can stop doing that and start finding a job, but then everything else is just going to kind of fall apart. I need $20 for the next week to be able to take the bus down here. I might have funding after that. I've individually been getting everything myself by asking my friends for money, but it got to the point where no one will help me and I don't have family. I just need $20, so starting tomorrow I can continue to go to the meetings for the next week. What? How many buses do you take today and what's the cost Um, well, a bus pass is $20 a week, otherwise it's... $75 a month. It's, it's, it's $6. A month. It's, six, it's, it's, it's literally 6 to $12 a day, depending on where I have to go for money. You know, depending on kids, some of the meetings are in other places. Is this multiple metros or more exclusive buses? Like no, it's all metro. I just take metro. So if I'm $20, it's per person. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. Or it's 20, it's 20 a week. Are, are you going to do the Riverside tomorrow? What? You going to Riverside tomorrow? I can't go to Riverside because the bus won't go all the You want to go with me? I'll go with you okay. if you want, yeah. I think there's a lot of people that could use that one. Um, yeah, I'm kind of in the same situation. I don't do as much as I could because I think they're gone. What time are you gone? Riverside. So, um, uh, really, really early. Like, my point though is I. 7 a.m. maybe? Uh, that, you know, kind of need to be able to show up at the meetings. And I'm ironically going to the meetings at 7 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Ye
don't have money, so there should be something set aside for transportation each week, each month. But we should determine what that is in a policy. I think there's the exact same situation transportation wise, which is kind of why I'm against doing this because there are a lot of people, I mean, where does it end? I think it would get prohibitively expensive. I do think it's probably need to solve. I think that we should think about a better way to solve this problem than $20 a week for all the people that commit. I think that's a lot of people that get prohibitively expensive. But I am, I am in support of solving this issue, so I'm in the exact same boat. Uh, um, honestly, like, I don't think everybody should get transportation money, but people who are very involved, like, it, it, it's very difficult. Um, for instance, this week I've been covering for our streamers and covering for people. Most of our media team left and went to D.C. Um, I, I go to no less than five meetings a week. I've been attending GA nonstop. I'm also on the structure committee. I have to go across town multiple days for meetings. I mean, honestly, I can just pretty much stop everything I've been doing, and that's what it's kind of going to have to come down to at this point. Um, how do you decide who, who does enough to get the money then? Because the thing for me is, since the occupation, I haven't been able to do as much as I want to at all. I mean, I was involved in at least nine or more meetings, probably up to 15 every week. And I'm very, I don't come to a lot of them now because I can't. So how do you decide that? I mean, right now, if you look at you, you know, you're doing a lot, and I'm not because I can't. So I don't think that's really fair just to judge by how, what you're doing right now. I mean, I'd be doing a lot of stuff if I could. Yeah, I think two things that I that I, it boils down to is that you would it would need a standard like we would need a standard of you know who who does enough to qualify for using like your bus pass being financed. But then the other part of it that I think is way more important that we should talk about more is um, exploring other options outside of purchasing bus passes because we could create ride share networks within the Occupy movement. We could um, potentially try to figure out, um, I mean, there's all, there's in, an infinite number of solutions. And so we should be, um, we should try to examine that because I agree, I foresee a lot of people coming forward and saying why I need a bus pass too. And without that standard of whether or not that person does enough for the movement to qualify for the bus pass, we're going to run into a lot of, of issues. We got to create a computer tomorrow called OLA right here. Yay! Okay. It doesn't help that. Liz and Mike. Liz, Mike, Sarah. Um, okay. Um, I've been doing the ride share thing and it doesn't really work because most people like they don't want to be there when they don't have to be there for meetings. I have to come like I wasn't coming to resource meetings because I couldn't get a ride here. You know, I could only get rides to action meetings and to structure committee meetings. You know, I spent my twenty dollars, I got twenty dollars together this week so I could come to the resource meetings, so I could go to all the actions and do everything I have to do, you know. Um, granted, you know, everybody does different things. I tried to sign up for our time bank through Echo Park Time Bank. They're pretty much like this. So I don't understand the point of it. I thought it would be a good idea to use what we were registered with, it, with as a time bank. We also had talked about maybe trying to create our own through the website. But, I mean, it, if people can verify what you're doing and what meetings you're showing up at, I have no problem with paying for people's bus tickets when they're do, really doing stuff. But, like... You know, I, I understand the theory of we can't pay for everybody, you know, but I personally wake up at 8.30 in the morning and go to bed at 12.30 at night and work all day long, you know. I think Liz has a very Liz. good point. I think she should, if she doesn't have a job and she's putting all these hours in on this, uh, that she should get enough money for buses until ride share can be provided, an organized ride share. How do you decide that? Because oh, I... Hey Tim, can we come back? <coughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I think what's going to end up happening is that 
resources is going to get bogged down with individual testimonials about how much they do for the movement and us getting into uh, bureaucratic, or not bureaucratic, but just consensus. It's, we're going to be spending the entire time debating over whether or not so-and-so does enough for the movement to qualify for a bus pass. And I think resources, and I'm not saying that you don't do enough for the movement to qualify for a bus pass. And in fact, I would gladly just buy you a bus pass and give you $20. Um, but I'm. Yes, so, I, have. I need to buy a weekly pass. That's ask everybody what to run. Yeah, I was gonna chip in. That's yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. Like, right yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, like, yeah, we could do it this way. I've like, been asking everybody. That's, that's the whole thing. And yeah, I don't ask people for girl. money. Girl. And no, no, I, I just want to bring up a, a two quick points. One, I've been the one begging for the money and the resources since we got here. You know, asking for everything, finding out what we needed. Number two, like, I don't give a fuck what people say. Like, I'm one of the only people who work together with Lance to do a fundraiser where nobody else wanted to be bothered. All they want and want and want and want and want. You know, I even try to run meetings and I try to get people together to go to meetings. Like, I've been working my ass off nonstop and I'm getting really disrespected right now. And honestly, like, not having money has gotten me to the point where I'm just ready to say, you know, fuck it, you know, because I'm getting abused right and left. Every time I come here, I come here to get abused and screamed at. That's not, the, that's You know, not. I just want to say, Beth, that we all, we all care you. about your feelings. And you have been a strong warrior about all this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, like... Hold on, we got a stack right yeah. now, and yeah. uh, it's okay. I'm just it's dead. not about that. It's just, you know, I, I mean, to continue what I've been doing and going to actions and keeping things going, I need to have bus. <laughs> okay, Tim. Oh, I mean, I'm not completely against it, yeah. but I mean, I'm in the same situation. You know, like I said, I was involved a lot before, and I have been able to now because I don't have a job either. I mean, I have a lot of time, but I can't get around to drive a car. So, how do you, like you were saying, I mean, how do you judge who, who, who should get it, who should, you know? I would be very much more I'm limited if downtown I had money to do it. To where I, what I, 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 could, I walked from over by 931 East Pico today all the way over here to be able to be involved in this. Well, I was going to say, in this particular situation, like, uh, I feel like in the interest of time and expediency, we should, uh, and I feel bad saying this because I don't have the cash, but we should take a donation so that we make sure that uh, Liz is covered right now, but try to come up with a policy for this as quickly as possible, either within one week or two weeks if it takes that long. So that a lot of people, and I was just talking with somebody, like I, I, I did a talk at the Cobra City MLP Junior Celebration, and um, this one guy, I think, uh, like I forget his name, he always does like the Army Jodies and everything. He's talking about how post raid a lot of us who were arrested have come back, but the rest of us have been successfully repressed. So it would be great to have something for people who either didn't have a job to start or lost their job because of the raid, you know, a way for them to come back. So I think it's important that we actually do construct a policy and just stick to it and come up with it within the next week or two. Yeah, I got, I got a lot of, I'm sorry. Can I, so I want to leave, that's the proposal you're putting out there and I don't want to leave it hanging. So are you willing to take point on that? Uh, sure. We, we is hard, but I is good. Sure, sure, sure. So I can make some suggestions. So you were willing to take a list of people? Do you have time to do that? To like organize a list of people who are willing to organize, like write down, like propose a policy, basically? Um, Could you draft a policy? Yeah. Can I um, email the uh, resources yes, listserv? Yes, you can. Are you part of the listserv? No. You can add you to the listserv. I think I, think I type uh, my I, So like I just think we should pass the hat and like yeah. I'm concerned about a proposal because like it's it's gonna be hard because we have the reason a lot of us got involved in this movement is like economic shit is fucked up. So it's gonna be really hard if we try to try to do that. But I do think we should try to take care of our people as well. Yeah. Let's like make it happen right now. Okay. If if you can.
I just, uh, uh, I wasn't here last Monday and I uh, kind of came late today. I want to know if I missed anything about that Shepherd Ferry thing you were talking about uh, last week. And be before you answer that, I just want to uh, say that if there's anything going on with like fundraising, like hit me up because, you know, I know a lot of people that make all kinds of stuff. I'm in the game. I do stuff myself. I have over a thousand pieces of art. You know what I'm saying? I'm more than happy, you know, being somebody who's all about charity to hook it up. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, keep me in the in the tune with that. What's your name, Anthony? Mark Solentano. I have Mark's contact info. Yeah. Okay, Matt. Yeah, oh, I was just going to say, oh, you know, she didn't answer you. I was asking about something. Can we get to her after? Because we just yes. closed that. So we'll just yes. end it. We'll end the meeting on that. Not I'll a problem. Yeah, I was just going to say, we, we've brought a lot of people with a lot of really great skills together here. And uh, I would really encourage people to, to really start to think outside the box with sustaining yourself and try to build a team, you know, try try to, to build something. Because, I mean, the, the things that people within this movement could do if they applied themselves within the private sector are huge. And and there's nothing to stop people from, from figuring out ways to make their expertise, you know, worthwhile. Like, I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't know about you guys, but I have, like, a, somewhere between 150 and 300 business cards that I picked up throughout the encampment. Like, those are all people who are hypothetically supportive, like, if, if you reach out to every person there, and, and even if you don't remember who they are, and you try to touch bases with why you talked with them in the first place, you know, I mean, that, that, that alone could, could take you somewhere. And if you guys have any ideas for how to put skills to work, uh, I, I have a business that, um, that I've brought Josh Taylor into a little bit, starting to do sales with us, and, uh, and we could do, you know, consulting or something, like, and, and, and we already have an established business framework that could do that. So if you have ideas or, or ways to put skills to use, like, we, we should be working together to do it because we could all employ ourselves together. Uh, and I want to let Sarah like wrap up. I just make one comment on that. Uh, can you do it after Sarah just to wrap up? Well, it's kind of directly at that. You want to know we've been talking about? Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> um, I don't even know where I'm sitting right now. So there's other issues that a lot of people are dealing with right now where they can't even get to the point that you're talking about. I, I can't worry about doing what you're talking about every day because I don't even know where I'm sleeping at the time. So I gotta deal with just like basic needs before anything else. So. That's a major issue for this movement. The people that are, that are ending up homeless. I feel uh, fortunate because I have a room, but I have a curfew to be in at midnight. I've tried to do everything I can uh, with this movement, getting into groups, uh, actions committee and all that. But the thing is, that that is a major issue, that homelessness of, of our occupiers. And there are occupiers that could that could help out, other occupiers that have places. Some are. Would anyone mind letting Sarah like wrap up that last point yeah so just on your point we um, talked on Monday night and tonight and consented to accepting the donation and just like every other donation or like every other thing that requires more than fifty dollars um, it has to go through the GA so the resources account will have more money in it but it doesn't that we don't have the authority to determine where that money goes 
when you say a donation what is the donation to shepherds going to give you a donation for using your photo to occupy l a resources it's going to be twenty percent of the print sale cost twenty percent of the print sale now that's not bad that's what we're talking about here all right cool and like what unlimited use of of the print shop is that what that is oh the, but that's just for the people's print more lab yeah I'll just because that. i mean obviously yeah we got it Adjourn. 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 Yeah. 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 Y